Hey, 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 everyone. It's your girl, Hennessy Bianca Gant. If this is your first time watching this channel, this is the channel where you will always be empowered and encouraged. So I want to go ahead and start out asking you a question. If you were anything like me, do you ever feel like <laughs> even when you're being still, you're still doing the most? I, I feel like I'm always doing the most. That's just like, I feel like I showed up in this world doing the most. Just ask my family. I feel like I am doing, I always do the most, right? Um, and that's what I actually want to talk to you about today, which is the doing versus the being, right? Um, that be still, we know that scripture, be still and know that I'm God. And I'm like, how do you be still? <laughs> how how that work? How being still work? Let me just sit there. What does that mean? How do you quiet your mind? You know, I always admire people that say that. Mm, I don't, listen, I do know how to be still a lot more now than I used to before. But I will tell you, like, even when I am still, I'm, I still be doing most. So it's, it's, it's a little difficult for me. Um, but when I am reminded that I do need to, like, chill out so I can hear. Because when I am still, when I'm, you know, um, when I'm in my quiet moments, it's when I hear the best. Um, but I can still hear a noise too. So, um, but besides that, um, I've been doing this study out of the book of Luke and I wanted to share with you all a, another highlight from the book of Luke. So if you could turn with me to Luke chapter 10 and we'll be starting at 38, Luke chapter and chapter 10, not in <laughs> Luke chapter 10. Verse 38 is where we'll be starting. And if you have your Bible with you, please turn it with me, right? Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of reading the word for myself and not just hearing somebody say it. It just does something differently to my shenana. So just an encouragement. So it's reading from verse 38. It says, now it happened as they went that he entered a certain village and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted. Come on, distract, distracted people. Was distracted with much serving. And she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. And Jesus answered, verse 41, and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. Some clips, listen, somebody, I mean, them few verses. If you are a busy bee, like I, I am in myself and distracted and get distracted. But if you don't read this, this, these few these few verses, and if that don't settle you down, I, I, I encourage you to go and read it again because it definitely settled me down. <laughs> I said, "Is Martha my twin?" Martha, essentially, you know how it is, right? Especially depends depend on how you were raised. You gotta guess. You got you. You know how it is when the, when the, when the, when the guests come to the house, you clean up real good. You put the the, the 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 nice silverware on the table, right? You know how it is. You spray the good air freshener because you're having a guest. I could only imagine Jesus coming to the house. Are you kidding me? Listen, baby, we were, we about to put the best china out. Like you, you name it, Jesus, you got it. And I'm being in the kitchen making sure that you got appetizer, that you got a breakfast, that you got lunch, you got a pre dinner dinner. Come on now, you know what I'm saying, y'all know. It's depending on how you were raised, depending on how you were raised, right? But I, oh my gosh, when I read this, I totally understand what Martha was doing. And I know a lot of people like that. I know a lot of people like, including myself, that's me naturally. You know, you want to go and serve. But I said this before, and I loved when I heard this at a conference years ago, but um, one of the people, one of the speakers said, you know, every good thing is not a God thing. Every good thing is not a God thing. So yes, of course you want to serve your guests and be hospitable and things of that nature, but that was a wrong time, baby. Somebody, you should have asked somebody to cater that. You would, you got Jesus in the house. So her sister was at his feet, was at his feet. And she did y'all see that? She tried to dry snitch. She said, 
Wait a minute, let me go back to it. <laughs> she went and dry snitch. Lord, she said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? You know how we go. You know how we are. I'm doing this all by myself. I'm the only one out here trying to work. I'm the only one serving. I'm the only one doing this. I'm the only one. If I don't do it, nobody else will do it. I does that sound familiar? And nobody even asked you to do it. You think the world gonna end because you didn't cook dinner? <laughs> you think the world gonna end because you didn't because you didn't do that report? The world is not gonna end. You think the world gonna end because you didn't send that email? It's not gonna end unless we are performing surgery, medical surgery that affects someone' life or death. There is nothing as that earth shattering. Do you hear me tapping the table? That means I'm serious. That means I'm real serious. Okay. But no, you see how she tried to, she, she tried to uh, flip the script. Tell, tell, tell Mary to help me. And Jesus says, Martha, Martha, you worried and troubled about many things. Come on, y'all. Many of us, we're thinking about everything else except for the main thing. He said, but there's one thing that is needed. There's one thing that is needed. You ain't going to heaven because you serving, because you making dinner. Come on. Well, what did you do with your life? I was I was serving every day. I was making dinner. I was making sure my house was clean. I, now, don't you don't y'all go misquoting me now. I didn't say you don't need to do those things, right? But when you you got to know the time and the place, okay? And you got to make sure that you're not just doing, but you're also spending time being. And that's what I like to consider the difference between Martha and Mary in this particular passage, because what Jesus said is. Is that but one thing is needed in verse 42. And Mary has chosen that good part. Come on, everything that's good ain't God, but Mary chose the good part. You got the you doing, yeah, you doing, you you doing the stuff that is is yeah, is an important yeah. But some one of the principles that I teach my coaching clients is, you know, is it urgent, right? The difference between urgent. And uh, an emergency, <laughs> right? There's a difference. There's a difference. He, and he says, one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. The moments in you being are the moments that just rejuvenates and restores you. And again, is the doing part um, key? Absolutely. But don't forget about being, especially if you're in the presence of Jesus. Y'all, oh, I hope, if I pray that you have experienced the presence of the Lord. Because it is like none other. Like, you don't even want to come out because it's just like, wow. Right? Better is one day in your courts. What better is one day in your house. Y'all know that song? Yeah. Than thousands elsewhere. I'm telling you, that's man, his presence. I could only imagine what that was like in person, live and direct, touching Jesus. So again, I want to encourage you all today to be mindful, especially us that are that are just doers, that are servers, rather. Not just doers, because again, the word tells us don't just be hearers of the word, but be doers of the word. But I'm specifically talking to those of us that serve. You know what I'm saying? And we serve and it comes out of a good place. It's like, oh, we're doing this. We're volunteering here. We're volunteering there. Somebody needs help. We're there. We're doing it. Like all, all of those things are definitely important. But make sure it's what you're supposed to be doing. Make sure it's not preventing you from being, right? Make sure it's not preventing you from being. Because this is a great illustration that while, that, while those things are important, the being and the, the being at the feet of Jesus, come on is by far one of the most important things that you can do, right? So you can be empowered to say yes and to say no to what you feel like you have to do. And sometimes that strategy only comes from being. So be mindful of what you do versus how you be, all right? All right, my commanders, until next time, don't forget to command your day. Hey, check out the description box below if you want to stay connected. I want to hear from you. Put something in the comments. Let me know if this passage and this verse resonates with you at all. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, commanders. Have a wonderful day.